on YouTube, Dr. Sola. And the lights are out. And if you look closely, it's only a red light. The battery <coughs> is completely discharged. Um, I expected this. I just wanted to see. Well, yes. So if you recall, I replaced um, my Deya with the Solar X Power. And while we're doing the installation, we had an issue where we couldn't connect the second battery. So let's back up a little bit. We couldn't connect, connect the second battery. So this ran quite fine. And somewhere around 5.30 a.m., the lights went out. No surprise. The major difference, however, is that the inverter is also out. So I, we didn't adjust the battery um, LBCO, low battery cutoff. So the system powered down. So right now, I'm in total darkness. I'm using my, what do you call it? The lights on the camera to do what I'm doing. So this is what it looks like now. Move back up a bit. This is what it looks like. Let me give you a side view. That's what it looks like from the side. So I'm going to do a follow up once the power comes back on and give you an idea how long it takes before the power comes on. It's currently 6.25 a.m. So we've not had power for about one hour. So this is the first time in a while I don't have power. So I ran the AC all night. I ran the AC all night, which is what I've always done. Um, and I'm, I was running it on half the battery capacity. We also used the microwave yesterday evening after I came back. So I tried to do what I normally do. The only difference, however, is I turned the refrigerator. Let me back up so you see the refrigerator. It's that big. I turned the refrigerator and the freezer off, but everything else stayed on so that's the major difference between what we normally do and what i did today what we normally do and what i did last night to this morning so um as soon as the power comes back on i'll do a follow-up to let you know how long it took and what the process was and then i'll go and adjust the low battery cutoff so now we're going to third hour with no power as you could see the screens are back on and it says EPS waiting. So our batteries are up to 10 percent. You can see um, it's still flashing an amber light and the percentage lights are flashing so it's pretty low. Um, let me go in and show you what's going what's happening. So we'll go to hold on. Sorry, system status, enter, PV1 is currently generating 300 watts, PV2 is generating 262, And our battery has um, 4.7 amps or 559 watts going in. So you see a battery voltage of 116. So this would technically not kick in till it's at 11 percent, but I changed the low battery cutoff to 15 percent instead of 10 percent. So um, because it's a, because it's only one battery. I like to me I like to reduce the LBCO. Once it's two batteries, and I put it back up to ten percent again. But for now, I have it at fifteen. I have it at fifteen percent low battery cutoff. So there it is. It says EPS waiting, and it will do that till it's time for us to well, for it to come on. Once we have enough uh, PV coming in, this will come back on again. So once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from. Lagos, Nigeria. If you've not subscribed, please click the subscribe button. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, 
post them in the comment section below.